Hi, have a great day, and let's go read the book of Genesis, chapter 37. I know, I know, I know, my English is very, very, very horrible. Bad, bad. <laughs> really, really. I know this. And have mercy and compassion with me. And let's go. And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. There, these are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with, with his bit, bit Bethlehem. And the lad was with the sons of Bilam and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph broke into his father's a evil report. Evil report. Now Israel loved, loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. Uh, the closer of many many colors in and when his Bethlehem sigh say uh, no, I don't know uh, that their father loved him more than all his Bethlehem. They hated 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 him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dream, dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated, 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 hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed, for I have a dream someday, for behold, we were bidding sheaves in the field, field, and lo, my chef, chef arose um, and also stood on brink, a upright or upright, upright, não sei, uh, and behold. Your sheaves stood stood round about and made obeisance obeisance to my shaft uma coisa assim and his brethren say to him shall thou indeed reign of us reigning reigning of us or shall thou indeed have Dominion of us, and they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me and he told it to his father and to his brethren and his father rebunked him and said unto him what is this dream that thou hast dreamed shall i and the mother and the Bethlehem indeed come to bow down ourselves to the to the earth, and his Bethlehem invited him, but his father observed the same, and his Bethlehem went to feed the father's flock in Sheshan, and Israel said unto Joseph, Do not the Bethlehem feed the flock in Chechen, come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, 
here in Aim. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with the brethren, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the valley of Hebron, 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 no say, and he came to Shechem, and a certain man found him, and behold, he was watering in the field, and the man asked him, saying, What seekest, seekest thou? And he said, I seek my better hand, tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks? And the man said, They are departed thence, for I am here, then say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren, and found them in Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said unto another, Behold this dream cometh. Come now therefore and let us slay him and cast him into some pit, and we will sigh. Some evil best hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben, 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 heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed not blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lie no hand upon him, that me might read him out of their hands to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass when Joseph was come to his bedroom that they stripped, 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 I don't say what is, Joseph out of his cut, his cut of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was in, in pit, in pit, não sei falar isso. Uh, there was no water, water or water, water or water, I don't know. In it, um, uh, and they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes, and look, and behold the company of Ismailites, Ismael, it's Ismael, it's no simply it's come from Gilead, Gilead, with their camels, bearing spicery and balm and meat, going to carry it down to Egypt, Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother? And counsel his blood, come and let us sell him to the Ismailites. Ismailites, Ismailites, no say fight. Ismailites, no say. And let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh, and his better hand, better hand were content. Then there passed by Midianites, 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 no say, Midianites, Midianites, Meshantman, Merchantman, and they drew, 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 and lifted up, up Joseph out of pit, and so Joseph to Ismailich, Ismailich, to twenty pieces of silver and they broke Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben, Reuben, Reuben 
return unto the pit, and behold, Joseph was not at the pit, and they rent his clothes. And he returned unto his brethren, and said, The children is not, and I am with her, shall I go? And they took Joseph's clothes and killed a kind of the goats, and dipped the coat in the blood your clothes in the blood and they sent the coats of many colors and they brought into their father and say this have we found know now whether it be the son's coat or no and he know it and said it is my son's it is my son's coach, an unevil beast had devoured him. Joseph, his wife, out doped, rent in peace. And Jacob rent his clothes and put in sackcloth upon his loins and mourned for his son many days. Many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, For I will go down in the grave unto my son mourning. For I will go down into the grave. Home to my son's morning, does his father weep for him. Then the Medianant sold him into a child, home to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard. God bless everybody and tomorrow chapter. 13, 30, 30, 38. God bless everybody. Have a great, wonderful, happy, joyful day. Bye.